two babies so right now at the time of this recording our oldest Maverick is 20 months old and then our youngest Cardiff is eight months old but you can kind of see here bopping around now we're new to vlogging this is our first vlog like we said and uh, we just kind of wanted to run through um, why we chose to quit our jobs sell everything we own live in a trailer for two years on our uh, on my parents property mm -hmm. so that we could save um, and then travel the world with our babies. Not kids, but babies. So here it goes. Go ahead. Okay. You, you, you're on roll. <laughs> Are you going to keep going? Yeah, you're on roll. Keep oh, going. Man. Okay. So um, a few reasons that we chose to um, separate from America <laughs> is uh, we really believe that... Um, Not really America. We still have American roots. You chose to separate from... The norm. Yeah, like the, the norm. This, yeah, there's just, it's sickening. The it's rat like, race, we call it. Yeah. I don't want to be the rat race anymore. Especially where we're from in Miranda, it was, it was a big rat race. Yeah. We really believe that it's important that you collect your experiences as opposed to tangible junk. And that was something that we found even more true when we went to go sell everything that we owned, um, including every baby item that we had received because we didn't have babies back to back. Say hi, Cardi. Another reason why we wanted to, you know, uproot and sell everything and go exploring pretty much is we want our kids to explore cultures and know that there's other type of ways of living out there. And, you know, if we do come back and settle in the States, we want them to appreciate what they have rather than just uh, kind of overlook everything, especially when it comes down to money or any type of tangible objects. We want them to really respect and care for what they have and be grateful for everything that they do have that we can provide them or that, you know, can be provided for them through these, like, you know, Christmas or Christmas can be very interesting on the road. Um, it's going to be, you know, like one or two presents here and there since, you know, we're both not working. And, and we have two backpacks. Two backpacks, yeah. So it's, you know. Actually, we have three now. Maverick got our first little backpack. It's like this tiny little Quicksilver and we stuff it way too, way too full and cheap all the time. Um, yeah, so something else that we decided was important about um, traveling was that we want our kids to learn how to view the world differently. Um, we were both raised in the U.S. and um, for me, something that I really wish was a bigger um, influence in American schools and whatnot is culture and language. And so in um, Arizona, where I was raised, you only had to do two years of school for a different language and then they didn't require you to do anything else and for me I really hope our kids learn a bunch of different languages a bunch of different cultures and that they feel like um, every part of the world is somewhere that they can go and explore and that it's not too you know scary or intimidating at least so. if they don't learn the languages I, I hope that they're interested in the culture you know they, they want to explore they want to help so currently we are um, in Thailand that was our first stop on our list of many um, the reason we chose Thailand first, for a couple of reasons, my sister lives here and she's been here for about a year and a half teaching English uh, and the family was coming out for a family vacation for about two weeks and so we figured why not ease into the traveling life and um, have my parents there for the first two weeks so that we don't just throw ourselves into it and you decide know, it's too much and go home. We wanted a vacation too, so with them here they are able to help out while we could kind of... Uh I don't know, have some relaxation as well. I before think we like two free days. Yeah. Maybe. Is she turning the camera? She's trying. <laughs> uh, 
<laughs> um, but anyway, so we decided to do uh, Thailand first so that we can go with my family. Um, and we decided to stay here for six weeks. So they were here two weeks. They kind of um, helped us get in to our first week of traveling. And then we have the last um, four weeks by ourselves. So the first stop in our Thailand trip, we um, went to where my sister lives, which is in the, um, the suburbs in Ninbury. Uh, it was really cool to start there and then go more city and island life because um, it really showed you like what it would be like living in where we live, kind of um, not a city, not anything crazy or hectic. Um, and it was cool to be there with my sister and the family. Um, but then our first real part of the vacation was coaching. We were only there for four days, but it was great because in the four days we got a date day to ourselves, so we rented scooters, um, which rained the whole day. So yeah. It was like an extra adventure. The only day, the only day it rained, like it poured. <laughs> we had was scooters, our date day. was our date day. We got Thai massages. Um, we went and actually had a meal to ourselves, which was super cool. We each got to eat with both hands. Yeah, yeah, definitely. That was nice. Yeah, see? She's happy about it. <laughs> Um, and yeah, it was just, it was really cool. We saw our first elephant, our first Thailand elephant, on the beach playing in the water. Wait, um, you didn't tell them about the part where, uh, you ran out of gas? It's like shorting out. Oh my god. Oh, your scooter died, scooter. like, five miles away from where we are in the pouring rain. <laughs> pouring rain and so we were like all the okay. shops were closed where we were yeah we flagged down this random guy on the side of the road and uh, he comes and stops calls the people that is on the back of the scooter for the company and tells them we're broken down and then it starts pouring so me and Trav run across the street to this weird little janky bar and uh, order us a couple of beers we set up our tripod and we try to do our first vlog there and the sound of the tin, like the sheet metal on roofs with heavy rain is, uh, it doesn't work. So, even though we have the footage, you can't really hear us. And then we just didn't really know what to talk about, so... So we had beer. Yeah, so we had beers, and it was great. And we got to enjoy ourselves. <laughs> yeah, so that was great. The coaching trip was awesome because we got a little bit of time together. So, a few things that we've learned while being here. Number one. Chang is fantastic. Uh, I knew that before we came out. Thanks to my buddy Weston. I didn't know that. I told you. I know, but I didn't know it personally, so hopefully I have never tried it. Fantastic. It's really good. So sing ha, but Chang's good too. They say sing, but we say sing ha. Mm. Sure. <laughs> Second thing we learned, cup of noodles, instant noodles, is life. Oh yeah. Uh, first two weeks? Daily. We had noodles daily. Yeah. yeah, it's really bad. So much sodium, but living in a hotel we have no microwave no stove you know we get tired of street food and cup of noodles we have a hot water pot why not yeah it's like being back in college it was awesome <laughs> third thing we learned uh 7-eleven out here is everywhere and has everything everything yeah everything everything so definitely if you're looking for anything 7-eleven has it so uh how i said we have to do light christmas shopping i'm doing it at 7-eleven um, and then last one that we learned pretty hands on was the Thais love babies. Mm -hmm. They love them. So it's been nice. Every, like all the buffets that we have, like in the morning or something like that, that's a part of our hotel. The wait staff will come and hold at least one of our babies. And one of us can get to eat with both of Both of my babies combined probably have more selfies than Rena and I have taken together or separately. In our lives. They just, the wait staff will pick up the baby, start taking selfies, send them to, who knows, you know, all of Thailand, all of the Bangkok, the geofencing on Snapchat, I have no idea. They love They're famous. babies. It's great for us, though, because to be honest, we get a little 10 to 15 minute break, and then for them, they get to experience new faces, new people, new situations, yeah. so that they're not afraid or scared or anything. So, it was a win-win for us, but it was definitely something new coming here. We didn't, um, she's peeing. All right, so if you made it this far, we thank you. Yeah. This was our first vlog, and um, hopefully as we go along the line and we travel to different places, you can follow along with us and see what we are up to with our two little babes. Um, but we really do want to know what you guys want to see or what you want to hear about. Um, we are planning adventurous things with the kids, not just hanging out in hotel rooms and cooking noodles. Mm -hmm.
So yeah, that's the first vlog. Got it. Thanks for watching our first vlog. And if you have any comments or things that you want to see babies getting into abroad, put them in the comments below. I think that's what people kind of look like this. And then you put it in your own. Mm -hmm. Anyways, thanks guys. Thanks. See ya.